So, there is some new Dragon Prince news to report. Sort of. Back in July, you may remember, at Comic-Con, they announced the future of the Dragon Prince franchise. For us, the most immediate good thing was learning that Season 4 of the Dragon Prince would be happening, and so would Seasons 5, 6, and 7. The entire saga was greenlit. However, there was also a tabletop game announced, Tales of Zadia, and though that announcement kind of got lost in all the hubbub, it's become prominent again because the plans for Tales of Zadia have been announced. Pretty soon you will be able to do an early playtest of this tabletop RPG. Now, will this spin-off be essential for those of us who just want more information on Season 4 of The Dragon Prince? I highly doubt it. I don't think it would make much good business sense. I mean, if you have all these extra spin-offs that a fan would need to experience in order to be able to engage with the actual next season of The Dragon Prince, that would put up a pretty high barrier of access to a lot of people. Aaron Ahas has good business sense. He did go to Stanford for an MBA, after all. I don't think that's what he and his team are planning. I think it will be something for the fans so they can enjoy the show, but it's not going to be essential to knowing Season 4 of The Dragon Prince and any future seasons. You won't need to play this game to be able to enjoy everything that is to come in the franchise. That said, it shouldn't be assumed that the tabletop game is going to be completely apart from the whole of the Dragon Prince franchise moving forward. And indeed, what we have seen through this tabletop game can offer us a lot of insight regarding how these characters are going to develop, especially Claudia. So let's look at the art for the handbook the releasing for this tabletop game. You might be saying, Josh, Shua, there can't possibly be that much, but although there might not be a lot, there is some stuff we can really dig into. Again, I might have mentioned this in a previous video, but Ahas has a background in video games, and it is his scheme to expand this franchise beyond just a television show. He wants a big budget AAA video game based on The Dragon Prince, a video game that takes place in this world. This tabletop game is of course not that, but it does demonstrate the Dragon Prince poking its toes into other mediums. It does show that multimedia expansion that was Ahas' grand goal. Anyway, let's take a closer look at this art. The characters might be older in this, or they might not. I don't know for sure. They look a little bit older, but that might just be the art style. Mostly they look as you would expect. Zim is cheery and oblivious. Ezrin is very worried. Soren and Claudia look like the bold, brave knights of justice they are. And Callum looks curious, but a bit anxious. That's basically his default expression. The real standout, though, is Claudia. I mean, just look at her. She seems to have entirely embraced dark magic, and with it, the path of villainy. Now, this is the first time we've really gotten to see Claudia since the end of Season 3. She wasn't the focus of Through the Moon. The last real scene we saw of Claudia was her reviving Viren at the end of Season 3. And this piece of artwork of her is enough to dispel any hope, any dreams, any optimism that she might turn back from the path of villainy. If anything, she looks to be embracing it even further. 
she has become a person who will try to kill Ezrin in order to advance her goals and ambitions, and we're all going to have to deal with that. If you look closely at this picture of Claudia, and specifically if you look slightly above that picture, at the swirls of dark magic, you can notice Viren on the right and bug form Erevos on the left. These are faint, and you can only barely see them, but I highly doubt this would just be a coincidence. If it's a coincidence, it's the strangest thing in the world. So, Claudia is definitely going to still be associated with her father and with Erevos going forward. Does that mean Erevos could, say, possess her like he possessed Viren? Possibly. Claudia does look different in this piece of artwork. She looks kind of like a Star Touch elf, honestly. Now, does that necessarily mean she's possessed? No, not quite. But it does mean that she doesn't quite look like the other humans and elves. She looks ethereal in a very disturbing, disconcerting kind of way. And again, that does not bode well for those of us who want Claudia to turn toward the light in future seasons. Perhaps what's more troubling than the idea that she's being possessed is the idea that she isn't. Brainwashing and possession have always seemed kind of like shortcuts to me. Like you want a character to be evil, but you're not actually willing to commit to that turn. Claudia is different. She has consciously made the choice to side with Viren. She could have left with Soren, but she didn't. She could have listened to Soren's pleas even later, at the end of Season 3, but she didn't. She has chosen her path, and it is a path radically different from the path you might expect her to have embarked on just based on what we saw of her in Season 1. Yes, she had an unhealthy fixation with dark magic even then, but it was easy for fans of the show to ignore it, just like it was easy for Callum to ignore that fixation. She was charming, and she was dorky and goofy, and she was very likable. A lot of people predicted that uh, Callum and Claudia would end up together, and although that prediction seems foolish in hindsight, it wasn't completely unreasonable. Since the end of Season 3, when I started making all these videos, I said that Claudia was shaping up to be the most dangerous villain in the Dragon Prince, and I only recommit to that opinion now. If you're a Claudia fan, you might want to brace yourself for the next few seasons of the show. It's not going to be good news, by any means. Now, you might say that, hey, Joshua, you're reading too much into what is essentially just a few images, and perhaps, yes, I am. But this isn't just aesthetic presentation. There's meaning to this. There's purpose. You don't do something like this for no good reason. It's not just regurgitating information we already know. The tabletop game is not just going to repeat things you can know by watching the show. If you go on the website for the tabletop game, most of the information you see there is just a bunch of puffery and advertising. But there is one point that really struck me as interesting. It reads... Join an immersive, worldwide Dragon Prince storyline that directly ties to the action in the series. Directly ties to the action in the series. That, to me, means that we are going to get some more information regarding what has happened after Season 3, or at least more information about this world. I hope we get some tidbits about Claudia and what's going on with her. We might not. The image of her looking very malicious with her dark magic might be all we get, but even that would be enough to indicate the direction the show's taking. We're going to be inching into darker territory as we progress through the show. 
What we see on the tabletop game is enough to allow us to safely believe that. Claudia is going to continue down her path to darkness, and the other members of the team will have to try and adjust to that, try and decide how to respond to someone they really love becoming villainous and murderous and willing to do anything for the sake of her ambitions and her loyalty to her father, Viren. So thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Donate to my Patreon if you can and you want to see more videos like this. Keep watching The Dragon Prince. It's a great show. It really is. I've been saying I can't wait for more seasons for a long time, but I'm still waiting. I've put so much effort into waiting that I kind of can't get out now. I want to see where this show goes, and I know a lot of people feel the same way, so let's hope we get the new season sooner rather than later. Anyway, tune in soon for my next analysis. It will be coming soon, I can promise you that. Thank you all again. Adios, comrades.